Welcome and in this video we will learn about grouping and sorting of nomenclature. Here I have made one new command for nomenclature backslash nm and then I have used here backslash nm and symbol and description of that symbol. And here I have my pdf file. So here I want to put all of my Roman symbols in one list and Greek symbols in other list. So for that we can use if then else command with the help of if then package. But sometimes it creates problem. So we will use if string equal command with the help of a very popular package which is known as eToolbox. I will load eToolbox. Here we will use uh, if string equal command. So here I am going to create uh, groups for nomenclature list. So for that uh, we will have a command norm group. And in a second curly bracket we will use uh, if string equal command. So here. So first we will understand about this command. New command. And here I will write uh, chstr one new command and in a second curly bracket I will write if str equal and uh, there are four curly brackets so in a first curly bracket if I write string 1 in a second curly bracket string 2 in a third curly bracket true and in a fourth curly bracket I write false if string 1 is equal to string 2 then it will print true otherwise it will print false so here uh, if I write uh, has 1 and now if I use uh, this uh, command in a document environment suppose here if I use backslash chstr and we should write uh, one argument so I will write one now if I write here ch so this name is equal to this name now go to compile now let us check now if I write something else Suppose I write chx. Again go to compile. No name. It is printing no name. Now in a first curly bracket, just write as one. So first I will create Roman symbol. So for that I write capital R. In a third curly bracket, just write uh, Roman. This one is used for false. So I will use for uh, the second uh, group. So again I will write if str equal. So this one I will use for Greek and uh, fourth curly bracket I will put it blank and here we will write one argument so one ok now uh, we will use R and G so for every letter just in a square bracket write capital R and this one I want to put it in Greek uh, symbol list and go to your nomenclature again go to compile it's not working properly so here uh, we'll insert one more uh, argument r means uh, roman and i'll create one more command and this one i use for greek and here just write r nmr r r g it's coming but uh, not in exact way again go to compile so this is the greek symbols list and this is the roman symbols list we can put uh, greek and roman in a bold format just right here df series large now we go to compile yeah and I will compile this ok now we will start our list just use some key so C for center R for uh, Roman and C for center and uh, third one N so I will write N O and fourth one is for uh, G G for uh, Greek symbol and uh, beta so I will write B similarly I will do here radius so r for roman and radius so capital r a r a for radius g r so i'll write here capital g 
and after that I'll write capital M and uh, this one is for mass of moon so I'll write M A M A is for mass go to compile yeah so alpha beta a b n sorry eta e eta 0 and then gamma and after that c e g m n r so all are coming with the alphabet key now radius of circle so i write r a it's okay and gravity so this time the gravity it's okay mass of moon it's also okay angular acceleration so yeah eng and here i write v i s zero now go to compile yeah so now it's coming so here uh, we have uh, our uh, description list in alphabet key now we'll do same things with the help of uh, if then else command so here i'll write uh, if then else so for if then else you will have to use if then package and then here we'll have to write if then else in a first curly bracket we'll write condition so first uh, write one and in a second curly bracket string so i write r or for roman and in a third curly bracket i print roman it should be inside the item command same thing i'll copy we can change formats of uh, these groups Now we go to compile. Yeah. And also I want to increase uh, vertical space between these two groups. Yeah, it's working. So that's all. Thank you for watching.